Hey guys, welcome back to All in a Law. This is a medical video lecture, physiology. And today we're going to talk about the important hormone of GI tract, that's a gastrin. Okay. So let's talk briefly about these very important points for USMLE and for medical students. So remember gastrin is a peptide with 34 amino acids. Okay, 34 amino acid residues. It is secreted by whom? It's secreted by the G cells. The G cells of pyloric glands of stomach. Pyloric glands. Of stomach okay and not only the G cells of the pyloric gland secretes this is also secreted by the TG cells of stomach duodenum and jejunum Okay, and not only this, in the fetus, it is the islets of Langerhans. In the fetus, it's islets of Langerhan. Okay, so these are the what you call the cells who secrete this hormone gastrin. So gastrin is a peptide with 34 amino acid residues. It is secreted by what you call T cells of the pyloric glands of the stomach. It is also secreted by the TG cells present in the stomach, duodenum, and the jejunum. And if you talk about the fetus, fetus also secretes this hormone, but secreted by the islets of Langerhans. Okay. So let's talk about what you call this gastrin. You know, gastrin is secreted by from the stomach, as we said before during. Which phase of what you call secretion is known as a second phase of gastric secretion? Se during second phase of gastric secretion and from small intestine during the intestinal third phase of gastric secretion. The second phase of gastric and the third phase of what you call the intestinal. These are the two timings where when this uh, what you call this hormone is secreted. Okay. Let's talk about uh, what are the stimulants for the, this secretion. Stimulants for the secretion of gastrin. Stimulants. Okay. What makes the glands of stomach the G cells and the TG cells to secrete this gastrin. One is the presence of food in the stomach. If there is a food in the stomach, then it secretes gastrin. Gastrin is stimulated. Okay? And the stimulation of the local nervous plexus in the stomach and the small intestine. Local nervous plexus in the stomach and the intestine. Okay? And what we have vago vagal reflux. Vago vagal reflux. This vago vagal reflux during the gastric phase of the gastric secretion. Remember, gastric phase of gastric secretion. Okay. And the gastrin releasing polypeptide is released at the vagal nerve ending and it causes the secretion of what you call the gastrin by stimulating the G cells or the TG cells. This is how exactly this vagal vagal reflex acts. Okay. Vagal vagal reflex is during what you call gastric phase of the gastric secretion. The gastrin releasing polypeptide. Gastrin releasing polypeptides. Let me write here gastrin releasing polypeptide is released at the vagal nerve endings and it causes the secretion of gastrin 
by stimulating the G cells or the TG cells, right? Let's talk about the actions. What are the functions or actions of this gastrin? It stimulates what you call the gastric glands to secrete the gastric juice with more pepsin and hydrochloric acid. Gastric gland to secrete more of pepsin and hydrochloric acid, HCl. Okay, and the other action is it accelerates, it accelerates gastric motility. Right, and it promotes the growth of gastric mucosa. Promotes growth of gastric mucosa. And it also helps and stimulates what you call secretion of pancreatic juice, which are which is rich in enzymes. Helps in the release of pancreatic enzymes. Pancreatic juice. And it stimulates the islets of Langerhan in pancreas to release the pancreatic hormones. As we see in this in the fetus, right? Alerts of Langerhans, I O L, I will write, okay? So these are the important functions of what you call the gas ring, remember, okay, guys? So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure you got an idea. What's a gas ring? What are the stimulants for it? Who secrets it? And what are the functions of it? Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.